Welcome back as Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 received a free major update a few days ago called the Trigon update. It adds a new player versus environment operation called Exfiltration in which the players are tasked with rescuing a stranded tech priest from an Adeptus Mechanicus facility overrun by Tyranids. The mission's highlight is the Trigon. It's a massive tunnel burrowing creature that relentlessly pursues us throughout the operation. In order to play this mission, you need to complete the game's main campaign first. Then the mission can be accessed via the operations menu. In addition to exfiltration mission, this update adds the following content. Inferno pistol added to both PvE and PvP. Two new skins and DLC cosmetics in the form of the Space Wolves chapter pack. The Imperial Fist champion packs includes tactical champion and a plasma incinerator skin. New customization options. In this video, I'll be updating my Nukem 9's DLSS G2 FSR3 mod guide for this game. The game does support FSR 3.1, but the upscaler is not tickable from FSR frame gen. We cannot combine DLSS upscaler with FSR frame gen. This is why I'll be using Nukem 9's mod. The thing is, Nukem 9's mod produces some ghosting in this game around the character models. It's due to the game's post processing effects. We can disable these post processing effects using another free mod called Disable screen effects. Just don't use the previous version of this mod with the latest version of the game, otherwise, the game will not launch at all. You just need to use the version 7 of Disable screen effects mod with the latest version of this game. The game comes with an older version of DLSS Upscaler, version 3.7, so I'll just use NVIDIA app to override the DLSS Upscaler to the latest version 310.2.1. In order to activate the Transformer model of DLSS 4, just need to set the model preset to K. I'll verify these details using DLSS debug overlay. In order to activate this overlay, I'll be running this registry code provided by Amos. And just copy these lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Right click, open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Like this. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Right click, open. Yes. OK. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. We'll be using build 0.130 of Nukem 9's mod, universal version. You can download it for free from Nexus Mods. I'll give its link in the description. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods icon in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Now just click on slow download here. Download will start. Disable screen FX mod can be downloaded from Nexus Mods. Again, I'll give its link in the description. Just click on files here. You need to download its latest version 7.0.0. Do not download version 6. It won't work now. Click on manual download under version 7. Download here. Again, click on slow download. Now I'll install Nukem 9's mod. Just open the mods archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy these dll files. Version and DLSS G2 FSR 3 AMD is better. Open the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open client underscore PC folder. Open root folder. Open bin folder. Open PC folder. Paste the DLL files here. The mod has been installed. Now you need to make sure that hardware accelerated GPU shared link setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anywhere on the desktop. Click on display settings. Now click on graphics here. Click on advanced graphics settings. From here, enable this setting. Hardware accelerated GPU shared link. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage CD settings. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Warhammer 40,000 spacebar into. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. Apply the changes. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync here. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. And enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This is optional. 
click on display here and check this option now i'll override dlss subscaler just open nvidia app click on graphics click on the three dots here then click on refresh it will show you all of the games installed on your pc from this list just look for for hammer there it is scroll down to the end we need to edit the dlss override model preset setting click on the pencil icon here select the second option use different settings for each dlss technology click on the drop down bar below super resolution and select latest as the option done here just click on apply not required in my case as i had already selected this setting now i'll install disable screen fx mod just open the mods archive file copy this pack file open the games install directory i'll show you where to paste this file open client underscore pc folder open root folder open mods folder paste the file here this game supports easy anti-cheat software so we need to disable it in order to get the mods working open the games install directory after disabling ESC we won't be able to access the games online mode open client underscore pc folder open root folder open bin folder open pc folder create a new text file here name it as run game and change its extension from .txt to .bat we are creating a batch file hit enter yes right click select this option edit in notepad just paste these lines here i'll provide these lines in the description of the video you can copy the lines from there and paste them here click on file click on save close now do not launch the game from steam otherwise our mods won't work this will enable ESE. you just need to execute this batch file in order to play the game with mods yeah it worked the only drawback of using these mods is that we won't be able to access the game's online mode won't be able to play with other players online you will see this prompt at the startup menu corrupted files detected online gameplay will be prohibited this means ESC is not working exactly what we wanted mods detected in game settings name of my gpu i have set the resolution to full hd just set the upscaler to tlss using its quality preset sharpness level 1 frame generation disable for the time being we have access to this setting this means the mod is working we sync off motion blur disable no fps cap applied ultra to high settings cloud simulation high apply we are in need to select a mission via the battle map yeah, here FPS is close to 80. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Model preset used is K. Version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD. Auto exposure setting is on. Okay, I'll just start the exfiltration mission. Access mission terminal. Click on operations here. Number 9, exfiltration. Select. Finally landed on planet Avarax. My teammates. AI control. Air FPS is close to 90. Looking for some creatures. There's the thing. Yeah, FPS is close to 80. Getting good. 1% close. Above 60. Don't remember the controls now. And just shoot at the things. This creature is quick burrows itself in the ground now i'll enable new cam 9 mod open the game setting set frame generation to on apply back to the game yeah fps increased to around 130 can observe the right amount of smoothness not observing any ghosting around the character model so disable screen fx mod worked as well basically disable some post processing effects Games HUD elements are not flickering, only the DLSS debug overlay is flickering as expected as the overlay is not a part of the game's interface. After verifying the upscaler's details, you can simply disable the DLSS debug overlay. I'll quickly do this. So smooth. Just open the registry file that we created earlier using notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, click
close execute this registry file okay that's it we should disable the dlss debug overlay don't launch the game from steam use the bad file that we created earlier there it is this time i'll run the game using dla and just select native as the render resolution and disable frame generation for the time being yeah we are in fps is close to 60 this is the game running using TLA. Yeah, the image quality is looking very sharp. Oh my god, this thing. It's all over me. Chasing me. Trying to emerge from the ground. 53 to 60 FPS. I'll just enable the mod now. FPS should be close to 100. So many creatures around me. Frame generation on. Resume the game. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Mod is working very nicely. And I'll be honest, latency is not an issue. Reflex is doing a good job here. Cutting down the frame generation related latency. Executed a parry there. Definitely play the game this way. It's up to you. Enabling DLSS upscaler will give you a decent gain in performance. Image quality was looking good even with DLSS upscaler's quality preset. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.